What's going on everybody? Doing a short video today. Doing a 40,000 mile overview of my Fiat 500 Abarth. Just wanted to, to go over a few things on what's been going wrong with the car since day one. Uh, top of the list is one major problem I had was the coolant reservoir tank. Coolant reservoir tank was cracking at the bottom of the tank. The hose area where it connected the hose to the exit of the tank was cracking. So I had to replace the original one to a newer one. And that was done, I don't know, maybe under 5,000 miles, something like that. Next thing that went was in the engine bay, there is a cowl right above the engine where the windshield meets. There's a plastic piece there. Something went wrong, something went wrong with the cowl and uh, basically it had to be replaced. So that was replaced, that was recall number two. Recall number three was up here above the windshield, there's a black strip where the glass sunroof meets. It was a very thin layer of paint, which started to chip right in the center, right up here. I will show you better. And I will show you. The car just finished warming up. All right, so problem number one, coolant reservoir has been changed. Right here, this is where it was cracking and leaking. Two, the cowl, something with this, this is the cowl. Three, three was up here, right in the center. It was chipping. It was chipping right up there, so they had that repainted. My car was gone for a day and a half, two days. Um, and uh, right here, the downpipe, this is not a problem, but here's the turbo. And the downpipe right here, I had a aftermarket de-padded downpipe, which I replaced back with the stock downpipe because it was getting a little too loud and drony. And I had right here a after, after intake pipe after intake filter pipe, a silver one, round, but didn't make a difference. In here I have a BMC cold BMC air filter, which has better uh, has better airflow, more airflow could pass through the uh, the filter. Other than that, that's it. And back here, I, re I have taken out the rear seats, which uh, gives me a lot of space and uh, saves me some weight, approximately 50 pounds, I think it's 50 pounds, 47 point something, I think. I have the, uh, the Beats subwoofer back there. And that's it. So, so far, this car is actually holding up pretty well. It's a little dirty. I haven't washed it in a while. It's winter now, so I really don't care. But uh, no rattling, nothing like that. The seats are holding up pretty well. I mean, they get cracked like normal, like like any other leather seats. But they are still um, pretty solid. They hold. They have their firmness still. And uh, that's it. I'm actually pretty satisfied with this vehicle, and hope it brings me good fortune to the future and no major 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 flaws and repairs all right guys well thank you for uh staying tuned if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and give me a thumbs up thank you